This is the FFR Trading Market Minute. And again, we're looking at the SPY, the ETF for the S&P 500 on a daily candlestick chart here. After hitting our target last week at 550, you can see the market did pull back, which is expected after a big target's been hit like that. And we're kind of trading now in this range. If you look at the RSI, it's having a, a difficult time trying to get back above its moving average. That's telling me there may be more downside ahead unless we get a nice higher close. Um, that would push that back up. Uh, chances are we'll probably test the support here. You got a gap to fill back here as well as some 20 period moving average support there as you see as this last pullback kind of held that 20 period moving average support. So maybe something similar to what we had here. You can see it's kind of it's almost the same formation. Uh, maybe we get a little more pullback here. Like I said, unless we get a nice significant close higher. Um, I expect that the market may drift sideways to lower here, maybe fill that gap or at least test that 20 period moving average to the upside. You know, our bigger target all the way again up here at 610 uh, in the SPY. So uh, plenty of room to the upside. Uh, we do have to be careful up here. Be careful putting on new positions. You know, the last couple months I've had bearish positions on in the, in the SPY, but we'll call it neutral to bearish and uh, just setting levels which I felt that the SPY would not exceed you know in a certain X number of days uh, and those worked out well um, currently I've got a position that's more neutral to bullish um, you know obviously we are still in this uh, uptrend here uh, but the market could drop more than three percent and uh, it's still fine I'm still gonna collect some uh, income on that uh, but what I'm saying is the internals in the market here not looking great. You know, normally in a, in a nice up market, you've got a, a majority of the stocks making, you know, 52 week new 52 week highs. You know, in a bearish market, you got a majority of stocks making new 52 week lows. But right now we've got a situation where we've got an equal number of stocks basically making new all time highs and new new all time lows simultaneously. And that's typically a sign of an unhealthy market. So we're certainly due for a, you know, some type of corrective uh, action here. You, you know, Nvidia, some of these big stocks are off their highs. So just be careful putting on new positions up in this territory. And uh, whatever you are, if you are long markets, then uh, protect those profits as well. Economic data set to be released next week, Monday. We start with the uh, ISM manufacturing PMI. Uh, Fed Chairman Powell will be speaking on Tuesday at 9.30. That's a big report. The Wednesday uh, lineup ADP employment change, ISM services PMI, and the FOMC minutes at 2 o'clock. And Friday, we round off with average hourly earnings and the big non-farm payrolls report. Hope that helps. Have a great rest of your trading week. We'll see you next week in the FFR Trading Market Minute.